everyone, thanks for tuning in to Avid Max Tying Tuesdays. My name is Brady, and today we're gonna to show you how to tie a traditional print snip. We're gonna use a peacock curl for the main portion of the body. The tail today will be made out of the goose biots, standard brown goose biots. And then we'll have a uh, ribbing on it, the copper wire, small copper wire. We'll do a uh, hackle on the front, a brown hackle, and then we'll add some wings that'll also be goose biots, but in the white color. Okay, so to start the print nymph, we have our, this is a size 14 Tamco 5262 hook. And I'm gonna use this Vivis 12 aught in black on this pattern. Just gonna start out with a set of locking wraps there. About our excess and then work our way back and we're gonna go straight to tying in the tail here. So the tail is the goose biots in brown. And similar to a lot of other patterns, you're gonna tie these in, splaying away from each other. Pattern's been around for a long time. It's, it's a great go-to pattern if you're having a hard day and nothing else is really working, try prints. So I'm gonna measure right at the length of the body there. I'm gonna tie this in on the back. Do a couple of loose wraps, make sure they're where I want them and then tighten that down. And then we can hold them in place as we lock them towards the back here. Not too many materials either. It, it's kind of uh, uses some of just the best fishy materials in my opinion and nice clean pattern. So I'm gonna clip out these excess buyouts here. those down clean that up a little bit and we'll come back and tie in our ribbing material so this is just the copper wire so the small UTC copper wire we'll add that to the side of the hook shank here Looks like I didn't tighten my vise well enough here we go there we are work our way back Lock that in. And the next material we're going to add is some peacock curl. I'm going to add a few strands, three strands of peacock curl here. And we'll clip off the tips like we usually do. And tie those in on the side as well. Without any excess. back getting ready to wrap our body here okay so we'll get our thread up and out of the way Give a little wiggle room there for when we come and do our hackle on the front and with this peacock curl I'm gonna make just a quick rope out of it simply by twisting it all up together And then that way when you're wrapping it, you kind of ensure that you have some of those barbels flaring outward in a nice shimmery way. So we'll go around and just wrap up towards the front. Try to taper our body just a little bit. And with the peacock curl, tying it in with the tips, it kind of naturally does that a little bit for you one break on me, maybe we can just wrap that in. Now we'll just clip it off. All right. So I'm gonna capture that. Just like so, clip out the ones that I don't want in there. just kind of a nice even base of thread here up towards the front because I'm going to be wrapping just a little bit of hackle. And then we'll half hitch off and wrap our wire. So I'm going to counter wrap the wire just to lock down that peacock. We'll do it 
it four or five times to the front. Spin that wire off. And we're gonna add our hackle now. So this is just a natural brown hackle that I'm gonna use. I selected a, a piece that's appropriate. Just kind of measuring the gape of the hook there, slightly longer. And we'll clear off the barbels off of the back end of it, just like so. I'll give you something nice and easy to tie in. end and then prepare to wrap it forward here so we'll do another half inch knock that stuff down and bring our hackle up I'm gonna give it just a couple of wraps because then we're gonna tie our wings right over the top of it there. So all you need is just a couple. Come back and capture it off. Just like so. Let's all that facing backwards here. Tip off our excess and the ones that maybe you trapped in there, they're going the way you don't want them to. And then we're going to come back and add our wings. So for that we're using the white goose biance. And this time you don't have to flare them away, you want them just laying the same way. Uh, and I'm going to just kind of create a V with them. Measure out the length that I need here, which is going to be just short of the body. So something like that. I'll clip off some of this, make it a little bit cleaner to tie in. So I'm gonna place them right on top, hold them down, and we'll do a couple of loose wraps, kind of check out where they're at. So you want them just kind of splaying right on top there, that looks pretty good. Make sure that I got room to finish this fly off here. And we'll secure those down. Couple wraps in front, couple wraps behind. Prepare to whip finish. Clip out the excess. Get those as close as you can there. So I could trap some extra hackle, we'll get rid of that. And then we'll whip finish it off. finished traditional print snip. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you have a fly you'd like to see us tie in the future, leave us a comment below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.